So, this man right here seems to be doing everything correctly. He's dated some of the most desirable women on earth, all while looking like this. Now, I'm not here to shit on Pete for how he looks because I think he is an awesome guy and I can understand why a lot of women want to date him. I'm sure a lot of men out there would die to be like Pete. But there is one thing we need to talk about and that is to not be like Pete. He's broken and continues to break the number one rule when it comes to getting tattoos and that is getting your partner name tattooed on you. Now he's done this quite a bit so we are going to go over all the tattoos that he's gotten and by the end of this video you're going to kind of come to a conclusion on whether or not it'll be a good idea to do the same thing if you are thinking about doing it for yourself. Trust me it doesn't end well. Now I want you guys to do me a favor and that is go ahead in the comment section and let me know would you ever get somebody else's name or anything to deal with them tattooed on you. So let's start off with mistake number one. I mean, I mean Pete's first girlfriend, Cassie David. Now during this time, Pete did get a couple of tattoos for Cassie. The first one being her name on his ring finger, which was later revealed by her that he eventually got it covered up in just straight black ink. And then he got another tattoo as well. And this one took it a little bit further than just a name. So Pete ended up getting a large cartoon drawing of her tattooed on the inside of his form that was designed based off a self-portrait that she drew when she was five years old. Talk about romantic. Now, shortly after the relationship ended in 2018, John Massa posted a picture of the tattoo showing that Pete had covered the self-portrait tattoo of KZ up with a new design featuring a forest and crescent moon. So you think after this relationship ending and making the mistake now of getting her name and a self-portrait tattooed on him that Pete would have learned his lesson? Well, not really. Bring in mistake number two, and that is Ariana Grande. Now, after covering up the self-cartoon portrait of Kazi and now getting into a relationship with Ariana Grande, John Mesa, his artist, kind of had some words for Pete in terms of the relationship inspired tattoos that he continues to get. But I think that went in one ear and out the other because not too long after the relationship came public, they were seen with matching cloud tattoos on their finger. And then two weeks after their relationship went public, Pete got a couple more tattoos for Ariana. This time, he decided to get a tattoo of the bunny mask behind his ear which is the same one that Ariana wears in her 2016 album of Dangerous Woman and once they ended up breaking up that tattoo was later covered up with a black heart but in that same time when he got the bunny ears he also went ahead and got her initials of AG tattooed on his hand as well. This was eventually covered up with a small kite. And then not even a month into their relationship, they got engaged. And we all know what Pete's got to do to show his love for his girlfriend or now fiance. That's right, get more tattoos. So in June, the couple celebrated their engagement by getting the word reborn inked on their thumbs. They both got H2G KMO inked on their right thumb, which is an abbreviation from one of Ariana Grande's favorite sayings, and that is, honest to God, knock me out. And it's sad to say that Pete wasn't done just yet. He got a tattoo of Ariana Grande's surname on the side of his torso, which post breakup, he turned into a solid black keyhole. And also while he was still engaged to her, he also got a tattoo that read Millie Trendese. And this was because she had an identical design that she got for many years prior. And after they broke up, he ended up uh, kind of covering that up with a tattoo that then said cursed. And you guys want to hear the best part to all this? The relationship only lasted about five months. And in that time, Pete Davidson got more tattoos for Ariana Grande than he did with months in the relationship with her. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, I'm sure there are many reasons to why Pete Davidson gets with all these beautiful women. And I'm certain one of the reasons why is because he has a well-kept package down there. So here is the one time you are going to want to be like Pete. And he is even a proud supporter and user of today's video sponsor, Manscaped, who are here to welcome you into fresh ball fall. Listen guys, it is cuffing season, which means a lot more chilling with your partner indoors, watching movies, cuddling, and you know what else. So it's probably best you have your area down there looking its best by using Manscaped products to trim your balls with ease and so that you're smelling like a nice fall breeze. And that's why you guys need to go ahead and check out the Platinum Package 4.0. Inside this 10 part package is everything you know and love about the performance package, plus some shower goodies to elevate your grooming game to a platinum status. In this package, you will get the Lawnmower 4.0, which will definitely be your favorite product to use out of this package and something you will definitely be using on a weekly basis because it is one of the best trimmers to clean your area down there. And is most importantly, it helps reduce the Nick's grooming accidents and this is because of their advanced skin safe technology, which I will be honest has made me feel a lot more comfortable and confident in trimming in that area down there. And not to mention another reason why I really like this is you can go ahead and use it on your tattoos to bring back the vibrancy detail and make them look new and fresh again. You will also receive the Weed Whacker, which is perfect for getting those straggling 
nose and ear hairs. In addition, you will get the ultra premium deodorant, body wash, and two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Join me, Pete, and over 6 million other men worldwide by going to manscaped.com and using the code INK, that is I-N-K-E-D, at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. Again, that is 20% off plus free shipping using the code INKED. So now let's get into girlfriend and mistake number three. And this was with a girlfriend that nobody saw coming. It was out of left field because it was with one of the most famous, popular, and most beautiful women by what many would say, Kim Kardashian. Now the relationship only lasted about nine months, but let's see in this time, did Pete get more tattoos than months? Did he dated her or did he finally chill out a bit and did he get less? So the first tattoo that we have that we see was a neck tattoo with the letters K and SCP, which fans were quick to speculate that the letters were dedicated to Kim and her four children, which I'm also might want to add in that all those kids were from ex-husband Kanye West. So <laughs> that's kind of weird. He also got a tattoo saying my girl is a lawyer, which Kim later revealed was her favorite because it was dedicated to her to pursuit of becoming an actual real lawyer. He then also got the names Aladdin and Jasmine with a tattoo infinity symbol on his collarbone. This tattoo is speculated to be dedicated to the couple's first kiss. But the last thing that he got for Kim Kardashian exceeds all the rest. He simply got the words Kim written on his chest. But it exceeds more than a tattoo at this point because it's not a tattoo anymore. It is actually a brand. You say branding. So like literally like an iron thing yes. went on to his body yes. to brand Kim. Yes. In good old Pete fashion, he went ahead and did the extreme and went above what we could already think of him. So moral of the story, guys, don't be a Pete. He is zero for three in the department of getting tattoos for a significant other. And to be honest, I doubt he has learned anything from these three and will do the exact same thing going into his next relationship. The only time I see this rule being voided and it being okay to go ahead and get your name or somebody's name tattooed on you is if you've already been married to them for like 15, 20, 30 years. Because in that case, the odds of you staying with them are very high. But odds are most of you guys aren't that deep into a relationship with your significant other or your partner. And the best thing to do right now is to chill out and hold that lust, excitement, and love for a little bit longer before you go ahead and start marking your body up like Pete did. Because then you're going to be like Kim. You're going to be 0 for 3. And guess what you're going to be doing? You're going to be covering, lasering all those off. Now I want you guys to do me a favor and that is go ahead and subscribe to the community. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. And like I said, I will celebrate by going ahead and getting my right hand tattooed for you all the way down to the fingertips. So go ahead, do that for me. And also go ahead and check out this video. It is of tattooed don'ts that you shouldn't do.